Swedish prosecutors have offered to question WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange in London, potentially unlocking a stalemate in an almost five-year-old investigation into alleged sex crimes. Marianne New York, the lead prosecutor, explained the change in position by saying some of the crimes the 43-year-old Australian is accused of will reach their statute of limitations in August. Prosecutors had previously refused to travel to London, where Assange has spent almost three years inside the Ecuadorian embassy. My view has always been that to perform an interview with him at the Ecuadorian embassy in London would lower the quality of the interview, and that he would need to be present in Sweden in any case should there be a trial in the future, New York said in a statement. Now that time is of the essence. I have viewed it therefore necessary to accept such deficiencies in the investigation and likewise take the risk that the interview does not move the case forward, New York said. She said she had made a request to Assange's legal team on Friday to interview him in London and to have a sample of his DNA taken with a swab. She said permission was also being sought from Ecuadorian authorities. Welcoming the move, one of Assange's defense lawyers, Per Samuelson, said Assange would likely accept the offer. He said he had spoken to Assange early on Friday. This is something we've demanded for over four years, Samuelson told the Associated Press. Julian Assange wants to be interviewed so he can be exonerated. WikiLeaks spokesman Kristin Raffensen said the Swedish decision was a victory for Julian, but criticized the delay. I think it's absolutely outrageous that it took the Swedish prosecutor 41 halves years to come to this conclusion after maintaining that she couldn't come to London because it would be illegal to do so, he said. Obviously that was a bogus argument. Appeal to Supreme Court Friday's move comes after Assange appealed his detention order to Sweden's Supreme Court, which earlier this week asked Sweden's prosecutor general to issue an opinion. Samuelson said the Prosecutor General had probably ordered New York to move the case forward by travelling to London. Karin Rosander, spokeswoman for the Swedish Prosecution Authority, declined to comment. Assange, holed up at the Ecuadorian Embassy since June 19, 2012, has not been formally indicted, but is wanted for questioning over allegations of sexual misconduct and rape involving two women he met in Sweden in 2010. He denies the allegations. He has said he has no intention of going to Sweden because he has no guarantees he would not subsequently be sent to the US, where an investigation into WikiLeaks dissemination of hundreds of thousands of classified US documents remains live. Raffensen said the Swedish offer did not mean Assange would be able to walk out of the embassy anytime soon. We have to worry about the ongoing criminal investigation in the United States, he said. New York has dismissed claims of any U.S. involvement in the Swedish investigation.